Futurism is a good thing, but taking a look back and reminiscing of the past cannot hurt either. So if the modern variety of electric vehicles cannot satisfy the automotive connoisseur within you, let's explore the latest conversion projects and the retro-inspired EV builds. These iconic models get a second chance to shine on the roads with the newly infused electric figure that usually improves their technical specifications tenfold. Subscribe to Automotive Territory if you want to watch top 10 videos about electric vehicles on a regular basis. Enjoy the ride! RPW Electric Roadster MGT The classic MGB two-door is ready to hit the roads once again in 2021, but only in the all-electric form. Responsible for the upcoming Resto mod is the UK-based RPW EV Classic Cars, while the body shell is supplied by the project partner British Motor Heritage. RBW spent three years to finish their patented drivetrain system, which places the batteries under the bonnet and the e-motor in the rear. Offering a 50-50 weight distribution, the car comes with a 95 horsepower motor and either 6, 7 or 8 batteries, offering up to 200 miles of range. Despite the old-school look, the EV gets an independent wishbone suspension with coilover damper units, leather interior, a 7-inch touchscreen and satellite navigation. The production run will be limited to just 30 copies, in the GT hardtop or the Roadster softtop variants. Charge Mustang The world's first mass-produced electric muscle car is nearing production lines as we speak, with the first deliveries of 499 units scheduled by the end of 2021. The London-based EV Enterprise is collaborating with a rifle, a rope race and Michelin tires to develop a bespoke platform that will be enclosed into officially licensed shells of the 1960s Ford Mustangs, both fastback and convertible. The product is juiced by a 64kWh pack with 50kW fast charging and 200 miles range. Offered in both rear and intelligent all-wheel drive versions, the Charge Mustang's resulting yield reaches 469 horsepower and 885 pound-feet of torque. The ultimate driving experience is ensured by the presence of ABS and torque vectoring systems. Plus, 0-60 takes just 3.99 seconds. Totem Electric GT while Alfa Romeo is reviving the GT moniker with the new factory-made Giulia, another Italian company, Totem Automobili, decided to remaster the original 1970s Giulia GT Jr. as an electric model. The project joins efforts of 18 artisans and takes over 6,000 man-hours. The resulting car keeps only 10% of the original chassis and gets a new rear subframe and a modern suspension. Up front, there is a new McPherson setup while the rear unit is represented by a multi-link aluminum system. The 1.3-liter four-cylinder engine is replaced by an electric motor and a 50.4 kWh battery pack that ensures 525 horses and 722 pound-feet of output. With the setup, the coupe is able to reach 16 pH and 3.4 seconds, can speed to 152 miles per hour, and covers over 200 miles on a charge. It also gets a revolutionary exterior sound system that replicates engine sounds. ECD Land Rover Defender An introduction of the mass-produced plug-in hybrid Defender does indicate that at some point we will get a fully electric version of the Icon. But in case you're in a rush, an American startup with the British roots offers a solid conversion of the original body-on-frame SUV Defender 110. ECD Automotive was responsible for the restoration process, while the UK Electric Classic car took care of the electric underpinnings. The powertrain was sourced from Tesla, hence the 100kWh battery pack juices a direct-drive electric motor with 450 through 600 horsepower output. The electric Defender does 220 miles on a charge and sprints to 60 like a spirited sports car in 5.5 or 3.5 seconds. Finally, Despite the electric soul, this is still a solid off-roader, spiced up with a fresh leather interior with bucket seats. Luna's design Rolls-Royce Phantom Based on the 1961 Phantom, 
that once was a carvey choice for the queen, governors and celebrities. The model arrives with a fully restored original body and Luna's proprietary electric drivetrain. The latter consists of a single electric motor delivering 375 horsepower and 516 pound-feet of torque and a huge 100 kilowatt hour battery pack that allows the Phantom to cover up to 300 miles between charges. The company does not disclose any further details about the powertrain, but promises both home and rapid charging. Inside the classic body, the electric Phantom 5 is all modern. It gets an infotainment system with set navigation, Wi-Fi hotspot, climate control, and individual screens for the rear passengers. Suspension, braking, steering, and electronic systems are also brought to the current standards. Smash the like button to speed up the electric vehicle's takeover and support our channel in the meantime. Thanks for the feedback and let's proceed! MWM Spartan The Czech company has gained prominence for their retro-style electric coupe Luca EV, and in 2021 they decided to launch a new electric-powered SUV to target European farmers, forestry workers and extreme 4x4 fans. The upcoming EV workhorse is based on the original Soviet bloc paramilitary UAS-469, but it retains only its outer shell and interior. Reborn as MW Spartan, the 5-seat off-roader gets several battery packs, ranging from 56 to 90 kWh, and there is also a powerful 120 kW electric drivetrain. The system should have enough juice for more than 110 miles of range and, most importantly, for up to 1200 pounds of load capacity. Further details are yet to be unveiled, as the vehicle is still undergoing road tests. But the Czech has already confirmed a starting price of under 40,000 euros. Alpha Jack CUV and Ace the California-based Alpha Motor Corporation rejects the idea that new electric vehicles need to look futuristic. So instead, their new EVs harken back to the era of 1960s and early 70s. For now, the conceptual lineup consists of three coupes, underpinned by a shared modular electric platform. The Ace, Ace Performance Edition and Jack CUV all have within 220 and 250 miles of range and come in all sorts of drivetrain configurations front, rear, and all-wheel drive. You can expect the Alphas to cover 0-60 to dashes in 6.5 to 4.6 seconds. The cabin accommodates two people, has 14 cubic feet of rear storage, and sports classy styling with steel and wood-like finishes that is modernized by the huge touchscreen placed in the middle of the dashboard. Zero Laps Bronco the reborn Ford Bronco of 2021 is a total stunner that possesses a bunch of retro vibes. But still, it is a far cry of the classic model from the 1960s and 70s. Luckily, the Los Angeles-based startup Zero Labs revives the icon in its original guise, with the only exterior changes focused on the front backlit grille to highlight the EV nature. At its peak output, the new electric powertrain makes 600 horsepower which represents a 500% improvement over the original. The dual-motor all-wheel drive system is powered by an 85 or 100 kWh battery that supports level 2 charging and should cover 190 or 235 miles. The Zero Labs Bronco can be ordered with a Brembo GT Performance brakes, adjustable Fox Racing shocks coilover, or a premium air ride suspension. ECC VW Beetle Electric classic car led by Richard Morgan, AK Moggy, operates from Newton, Wales. The company specializes in all sorts of conversions, but the true gem was built as a daily driver for Moggy himself. The baddest Beetle on the planet traded its measly 45 horsepower 1.2 liter engine for a 600 horsepower Tesla Heart. The usual weight distribution problem of the retro hatch was resolved by placing two 16 kWh packs front and rear to achieve a 54-46 split. In order to boost the power-to-weight ratio even further, the car was equipped with carbon fiber bumpers and bucket seats. 
the ECC Beetle has LED lighting, brake calipers from a Porsche 997 and wheels from a Boxster. The small battery is sufficient for 100 miles only, but this easily covers Maggie's commute and occasional drag racing. Morris JE A commercial van cannot be obscure. After all, to some extent, it is a billboard on wheels. One of the best attempts to build a model that will not be missed by a bypasser comes from the British company Morris Commercial. They were inspired by the iconic van from 1950s, the Morris J-Type, but now it features a modern modular chassis with carbon fiber body panels, an electric powertrain and a high-resolution infotainment. The CV can be had in the cargo, passenger and pickup configurations. Every element of the exterior, like the pear-shaped fascia, wheels, LED headlights, curved roofline and bright body colors, broadcast retro in all directions. On the electric front, the Morris GE is less impressive, yet still capable offering 200 miles of range, 184 cubic feet or 5.5 cubic meters of load space, and 2200 pounds payload capacity. K5 Blazer E In 2021, Chevy plans to introduce a new aftermarket E-Crate package that will bring EVTAC to a wide selection of the brand's vehicles. In order to demonstrate its functionalities and possibilities, the company created this one-of-a-kind conversion based on the 1977 K5 Blazer. Showcased at SEMA 360, the E-Blazer retains as many original parts as possible, while its electrification tech is sourced from the stock Chevy Bolt. The K5's transfer case, axles and drive shaft remain untouched, while the V8 engine is swapped for a 200 HP electric motor paired with a 4-speed automatic gearbox and a 60 kWh battery. The latter is placed in the cargo bay, gets equipped with heating and cooling, and features regenerative braking. Would you be willing to have a chance to perform electric conversions on your own with a simple do-it-yourself kit? What model would you convert first? Let's discuss these questions in the comment section. Smash the like button to speed up the electric vehicle's takeover, subscribe to Automotive Territory, and watch more electrified content by following the links on the screen. May the torque be with you!